Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on Supergirl Season 5. Today we've got our first look at Supergirl Season 5. We've got some set photos we're going to be talking about, so I'm very excited. we got our first look for everything, so if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any DCTV videos later this year. Okay, so very exciting. As you know, Supergirl started filming last week. They've been filming this week. We've got our first look at the new season. So starting off number one with the photo that David Harewood actually posted. And so that actually reveals Supergirl and what she's looking like in this season. So Melissa, as you can tell, her hair is different. So she's still got the bangs. That was her new hairstyle for the summer. She changed it. And obviously the people behind Supergirl were like, yeah, I like this hairstyle, I think it's going to work. So I reckon she's going to keep the bangs, she's going to keep this new shorter hairstyle until her hair grows back longer, and then I reckon it will go back to normal. I'm digging it, I like it, and I'm looking forward to seeing how it looks on screen. And we'll talk about more of her hairstyle, because, you know, it is quite a big change, although, you know, we shouldn't think of hairstyles as, like, such a big thing. It's obviously iconic, her Supergirl hair, so we'll talk about that in a sec but anyway so we got Alex here we've got Jean and we got Supergirl and we have Brainy and so they're inside the DEO this was a few days ago Alex is still in her suit so that confirms she's still wearing her suit she looks all normal her hairstyles the same as last season Jean I don't think David's actually filming in the scene because he just has a normal shirt on so I think he's just visiting the set or he's getting ready to do his own scene but anyway so it seems like this scene is with Kara Alex and Brainy because they're all in costume. Brainy's got his, you know, DEO sweatshirt or whatever it is, you know, the black suit that he always wears. And so, yeah, Kara's in her Supergirl suit. They're in the DEO. So, looking forward to all of that. So, let's go on to the photos. And so, all credits go to YVR Shoots, Hollywood, North Buzz. They will be in the link in the description below. They got all these photos. So, shout out to them. You guys probably know them by now after all these years of covering their photos. But anyway, so we got our first look at the season in terms of when they were actually filming because the other photo was a behind the scenes photo, obviously, with David Harewood taking the photo. And so we see Kara and she is back. So Melissa is back as Supergirl. And this is where I'm saying, I really dig this hairstyle. I think it looks really good. I think it is going to be kind of natural, you know, in the show they'll be like, oh, I got a hair cut in the summer. You know, I changed the hairstyle a little bit. I like it. And so, yeah, I'm fully down for this. I know it's obviously different from the traditional Supergirl hairstyle, but like I said, I think when it gets longer, it's going to go back into that same hairstyle. So no worries right there. So Melissa's on set. She's playing Kara, the reporter. So she's got this pink dress on and we move on to the next photo. And so after this, we see that, in fact, she is here with Alex. So with Kyla and Melissa. So I don't know if they're actually filming in this photo. It could be that they are filming. However, Melissa is actually not wearing proper shoes. She's wearing sort of slippers. So I feel like this is off filming. So I'm not actually sure what's going on right here. But we do have the details as to what they were filming. And so I'll read it out right here. So this was a notice from the Supergirl production company, from their production services. And so this was released. So we will be filming for one day in Prado Cafe, located in the lobby of the Civic Hotel. Scenes to be filmed will involve several background performers and will not involve the use of special effects or loud stunts. All scenes will be dialogue pieces. And so below they actually gave an outline. So that's how, you know, YVR shoots and everyone was able to find where they were and take these photos in the first place. So yeah, basically what they were doing, so they had a few street shots or they were walking to the hotel where they were filming and so they're doing something in there, not too sure what, but all the scenes are dialogue pieces, so they're filming multiple scenes, not just one scene or something like that. And so going on from that, talking about the hotel where they were filming, Azzy Tesfay, who plays James's sister, she was actually on the set and she was filming some of the scenes. And she posted this funny little video with Melissa and also Kyla, and so it's just a funny thing. Melissa thinks it's a photo, so she's posing, as you can see on the right. And then as he's actually taken the video. So it was a nice little thing. Made me laugh. I like Kyla when she walked in. But anyway, so that just gives us the look at where they were filming. So that's why I brought this up. And she's in the same dress. 
and this scene will include Kyla and also Azzy as well as Melissa so I'm not sure if they were actually filming outside they may have done like a few shots just outside the hotel and then came in but definitely talking inside the hotel and that's what you can get from this behind the scenes photo well sorry this behind the scenes video that Azzy posted but you know Melissa thought it was a video so that was kind of funny so okay let's move on to talk about these next photos so we see Kyla greeting some fans that's all nice and we see her also here and so she's in normal clothes and so what could this be what could this scene be they're talking she's not in her DEO costume so it's not DEO business it seems like it's normal business that they are talking so I have this theory that potentially they have some sort of meeting they go to this hotel and so they're in the lobby Kara's as her reporter self so maybe it's some sort of reporting duty that she's going to be doing maybe to do with Leviathan or whatever is going to be happening in the first episode but apart from that we don't know too much as to actually what's going on we don't even know the title of the episode yet however it could be something to do with the leaks that we got recently with Kara winning a Pulitzer Prize so maybe it's something to do with that maybe she's going to talk to someone about that and I feel like it does have something to do with journalism and so we know that a new cat co-owner is going to be coming in and also we know that a new journalist is joining the staff but I don't feel like that's to do with that but I feel like it's something to do with her reporter side because she is wearing her typical reporter dress and so looking forward to what's happening right here and it's just very exciting to see our first look at the season and to see the cast all back in action and sort of raring to go before we go to Comic-Con and we see the trailer and so in regards to the trailer at Comic-Con I talked about this a little bit so because Supergirl is filming early they started filming at the end of June so you know maybe four or five days ago I can't remember the exact date but they are going to have a considerably larger amount of footage than they had last year because last year they really didn't get to show anything due to the fact that Melissa was on Broadway and they'd only shot about maybe one episode or a bit less than that because they went from episode three to four then to one to two and Melissa wasn't there so they had to use a stunt double obviously with the Power Rangers costume coming into play so they could do some visual trickery in the episode and so there wasn't much in the trailer it was mainly to do with Agent Liberty there was about two new shots so for this trailer coming up this year I would expect a lot more because they have been shooting for you know nearly a week right now and they've still got about two weeks until Comic Con and I reckon they'll be on to episode two I reckon maybe they're about halfway through episode two by the time we get to Comic Con but right now still episode one still in the early days of shooting and so they're gonna start to do more of the outside scenes because I do believe that's why we haven't got photos because they were filming a lot of the inside scenes that are easier to organize at the start of filming and they tend to do that because you know it is easier to do really when you come to think of it and in regards to what's going to be happening in this episode I don't think anything major is going to be happening obviously maybe a teaser for Leviathan we know that Eve Tessmacher is going to be returning so I feel like there will be some sort of lead up to Leviathan in this episode or you know just a little little tease because Andrea Burks who plays Eve Tessmacher was at the reading that they did recently and she was at the dinner so it seems like she's going to be a regular for the first part of the season at least maybe into the back half as well so she's going to seemingly be very pivotal as to what's going to be happening on with leviathan due to how they ended last season so expecting a little bit of leviathan at the start but i don't expect him or you know her or the organization whoever it turns out to be controlling Leviathan and whatever it is because we really don't know right now I don't expect them to come into proper fruition until about the mid-season because I think Jean's brother Malafeuk is going to be the main villain for the first part of the season due to the fact that the monitor actually brought him in and as you know crisis is going to happen about the mid-season and there'll be a few episodes after the mid-season just to cap it off so it's a five episode crossover and after that obviously we'll have the ramifications of Crisis but I think he's definitely the villain leading up to Crisis then after they've defeated him then we move on to Leviathan and I think that's where we're gonna go this season so thank you guys so much for watching this video are you excited for episode one 
These photos make me super hyped. I love Melissa's hairstyle. I think it really, really suits her. And I think it's going to be cool seeing, you know, a different iteration of Supergirl, although she's the same. I don't know. It's just strangely exciting to see a change for once. So, yeah, that's about it. I'll catch you guys later. Goodbye.